Divanshu asked a question, does my beard ever grow? So as you can see, yes, it does. It's just that I do not like to keep beard because it looks cleaner when I do not keep the beard. So yeah, that's why. Anyways, that's not the question here because Xiaomi had an event today and they launched multiple products such as Surge S1 processor that they have made on their own Xiaomi Mi 5C and the Redmi 4X which may launch in India pretty soon. Let's start with the Search S1 processor because I'm most excited about this processor as this is the first ever processor that Xiaomi has launched and it is an octagon processor based on 28 nanometer technology. Four cores are clocked at 2 gigahertz or 2.2 gigahertz to be precise and other four cores are clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. This processor is completely made by Xiaomi like they have researched for it, they have done everything which is supposed to be done to make a processor and they are launching it right now in the market with the MI 5C device. Let's make this video a little bit interesting by comparing this with Snapdragon 625 processor. Personally, I did not want to do that, but Xiaomi themselves did it. So let's talk about that because it's quite interesting in my opinion. Snapdragon 625 does not perform as good as Surge S1 processor when it comes to GPU performance and CPU performance according to benchmark results which Xiaomi had shown in the event or they have posted it everywhere basically. Let's talk about few things which are similar in both these processors. So Snapdragon 625 processor is also an octa-core processor but it is clocked at 2 GHz and all 8 cores are clocked at 2 GHz whereas only 4 cores are clocked at 2.2 GHz in the Surge S1 processor. Snapdragon 625 processor is based on 14 nanometer technology whereas Surge S1 is on 28 nanometer. So it's like almost double and when it comes to <laughs> nanometer technology it is not like if some processor is based on 30 nanometer technology then it will perform better it has to be low so that the power efficiency will be high and it will consume less power and even the battery life will be longer if it is based on 14 nanometer or 10 nanometer chipsets and another bad thing about the surge s1 i'm like not bad thing exactly but it is going to have gpu which is mali 860 and to give you guys an example mali 860 gpu is also present in the motorola moto m and uh, if you have seen my gaming review of that device then you know that the device did not perform that well so i'm not completely sure whether it will be able to beat the snapdragon 625 which has adreno 506 processor inside it because even though 625 does not perform exceptionally well in games it does not lag or anything like that the games run very smoothly so there is no issue as such whereas mali 860 which was present in the helio p15 processor in the moto m did not perform that well. Asphalted game had to be lowered down to low graphic setting in order to run smoothly. So there you have it. But even after all these things, I'm very much excited about the Surge S1 processor because of two important things. First of all, this is made by Xiaomi in-house. So Xiaomi said that they'll be able to give faster updates because this processor is made in-house. So they have all the kernel codes and all those things. And I hope that Xiaomi releases the kernel code of the Surge S1 processor in order to get the development or ROM development going on for this device. If they do not do that, then I don't think so. I will be supporting Surge processors or Xiaomi processors in the future so better do that Xiaomi I no one watches my videos from Xiaomi or they don't care so I, I don't think so there's a point and the second good thing is that it has upgradable modem or baseband via OTA so basically different countries have different baseband so India has some different baseband China has different USA has different so let's assume Xiaomi launches a product in China right now then the baseband will be limited to China but in the future they launch it in USA then they need to upgrade the device's baseband which can be done via OTA directly because it is OTA upgradable which is not possible on all the processors and as we are talking about Surge S1 processor let's talk about the MI 5C which has metallic build 5.15 inch full HD display and as I have used the MI 5, MI 5S the displays on those devices were great so i am hoping that mi 5 cs display will also be great and sunlight visibility or outdoor visibility will be great too with this device mi 5 c is going to have 3 gb ram variant with 64 gb of internal storage and xiaomi did not announce any 4 gb ram variant for the mi 5 c fingerprint scanner is present in the front similar to mi 5 and mi 5 s and 9 volt 2 ampere fast charging is present in the device even though i think that it is going to take one and a half hour to charge completely and these are some of the camera samples which are released by xiaomi and these are supposedly clicked by mi 5c very tough to believe because they posted few pictures clicked with redmi note 3 and i have not seen anyone 
clicking similar pictures that they had posted earlier with the Redmi Note 3. So I do not believe in their claims, which is kind of okay in my opinion. Mi 5C is going to have three variants. First one is rose gold, basically pink color. Then it is going to have a gold variant, which looks similar to gold. And third one is iPhone 7 matte black. No, I, I not iPhone 7 matte black. It is a black variant. And you know why Xiaomi is launching black variants of every device out there. iPhone 7 matte black. Yeah. Mi 5C has Marshmallow out of the box and no Android Nougat even after having in-house processor which should give faster Android updates. I do not understand why, how can Xiaomi claim that in the press event and cannot release a device with the latest Android version. That's uh, weird. Now let's talk about the Redmi 4X which has probability of launching in India as an upgrade from Redmi 3S Prime. So Redmi 3S Prime has Snapdragon 430 processor whereas Redmi 4X is going to have Snapdragon 435 processor with 2GB and 3GB RAM variants. 2GB RAM variant will have 16GB of internal storage and 3GB will have 32GB of internal storage. 13 megapixel rear facing camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera are going to be just okay in my opinion because I have not seen any Xiaomi budget oriented device which has really good camera. So do not expect much from cameras but the pricing is going to be surely great because 2GB RAM variant will be priced at 7000 rupees and 3GB RAM variant will be priced at 9000 rupees. I am pretty much sure that this is going to be the final pricing of the Redmi 4X whenever it launches in India. I do not know the exact dates because I have so many contacts in Xiaomi. I like I talk to so many people in Xiaomi. That's why I can I cannot tell you the exact date of this device launch. Let's hope that they do it in 3 to 4 months at least. Redmi 4X also has metallic body in the back and the 4100 mAh of battery with 5 inch 720p display not a full HD display even the Moto G5 will have a full HD 5 inch display so uh, something to compare about over there the, but the pricing is going to be different so that's another point I'll do a comparison if both the phones launch in India pretty soon but 4100 mAh battery will surely give a very good battery backup in my opinion. So I guess that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And let's see if we can reach triple seven likes or triple eight likes on this video. Because Surge S1 processor is launched. So let's show appreciation to Xiaomi. And, and I hope that they launch the next processor based on 14 nanometer technology. So yeah. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then don't forget to click on my face and get subscribed. Because many more awesome videos like this are going to come real soon on the channel. And if you realize that I'm looking over here sometimes and I'm looking here sometimes it's because my camera displays over there where I have to make sure that lighting is proper which was not in my opinion because it is dark outside and I'm using Xiaomi desk lamp anyways I'll shut down the video bye